Hello, welcome to Late Night Creations. My name is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I have a video for you making some rustic reindeer with some scrap wood and some of those spindles that I got for free. So let's get started. This first reindeer DIY is very rustic. This is some of that old swing set that got blown over a long time ago. I've been doing a lot of DIYs with it, a lot of projects. So I sanded it down a little bit. I took some of my DIY dark wax and I didn't give it a good solid coat. I just streaked it. I just put some streaks on it. And then I took the clear wax and I sealed it up good with the clear wax. And then I had these little wood rounds in my stash. Um, someone donated them to me after a wedding and I just going to do one of them red and one of them in truffle by Waverly. So I have a Rudolph nose and his girlfriend. Now I'm going to give them some eyes and I'm just going to use this sponge dauber, dabber dauber from um, the Dollar Tree and we're just going to make some big black dots for the eyes then I'm going to while that's drying I'm gonna take these branches I got out of my yard you can see right there that I glued some extra little pieces on right there and up here because it had been raining like crazy and I couldn't get good branches um, off my little bush out there and so I just got what I could and pieced it together and you can't even tell and it's very sturdy and I just used hot glue now I'm gonna put those up there like some little antlers and some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. And it kinda looks like he has a unibrow. I've laughed and laughed about that. But Rudolph's got a little bit of, you know, what do, what do reindeer have? Well, okay, reindeer. What do deer have by their antlers? I guess it's fur, hair, whatever. Okay, then Rudolph's girlfriend is gonna get a bow. She's gonna get this cute little red and black checked bow from this ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. Now we're going to put some white in their eyes, make them have some little personality. Now Rudolph is going to be, he's going to be looking that way, whichever way that is going to be looking. Now this is Rudolph's girlfriend. I'm so sorry. I didn't show on camera that I put those little white, little um, extra accents on their noses. So I have them looking at each other words their little googly eyes I'm gonna actually put some white in there too once it dries good now I'm using some wood glue and some hot glue to attach this to a piece of one of those spindles you're gonna see those spindles later on in this video um, this is the straight edge end of the spindle that I just cut off and had an extra piece of it and so I thought it would be cute to make a little stand and put a little Spanish moss down at the bottom and look at them looking at each other. I think this is so adorable and rustic and cute. Okay, here's our next reindeer DIY. It's those spindles I've been talking about. Went and got 177 of them for free off of a pallet that some people had. And so this is those long ends of them. They were like banister um, spindles or spindles. They had purchased them at an auction. Um, the father had purchased them at an auction to build a railing around the deck and um, unfortunately he passed away before he got the railing built and so the kids had inherited it and they were just getting rid of them. So I was fortunate enough to, I drove an hour to go get them but it's, it was an amazing find. And then th this was a branch that I had um, cut off of one of my little bushes. I don't really have trees in my yard. I have this bush similar to a crepe myrtle, but it's huge and not pretty like a crepe myrtle. Um, and I keep cutting it down. It keeps just growing back and growing back. So anyway, this is a branch off of it. And I just took it out to my miter saw and chopped off a bunch of little pieces. You can get some little uh, pieces like this at Hobby Lobby or on the hobby stores and use them. Or Dollar Tree has some that are a little bit thicker and you might be able to use those if you wanted to recreate something like this. And so now I'm just gonna take a smaller dauber and um, 
Dabber, Dauber. I keep saying that and it doesn't sound right. Um, and I'm just gonna make some little black eyeballs. I'm gonna put, glue all their little noses down. Don't we wish we could really work that fast in real life? And I'm gonna take my little white paint pen and there I'm gonna make those little accents on the nose just to give it a little extra character and personality. And then I'm going to take the end of this little sponge paint dauber. I'm calling it a dauber. Y'all correct me if you think that sounds weird. Dabber sounds weird to me. Okay, anyway, and put the, I'm using the, you know, I used the wooden stick. You could use a dowel stick. You could use whatever just to make some little round dots. And then I did uh, my black paint pen. Now, I, I picked this, um, I don't know, it's not greenery. I picked this stuff up at Dollar Tree last year, maybe year before. I've had it in my stash for a long time. And never really had a project I thought that it really looked good in because it looked, to me, it looked a little plastic and cheapy. But guess what? It is perfect for these reindeer antlers. And like I said, it had been raining like crazy and my yard was just wet and mushy and I didn't really want to traipse out and try to find twigs. So that's what I did. Now I have this raffia. I'm gonna create a little, um, it's not really a bow. I guess it is a bow. I'm just gonna cut off a few pieces and I'm gonna flip it over, cut it in half, flip it over, cut it in half until I get it the length that I want. I'm just gonna tie a piece in the middle to hold it all together. And it kind of creates a bow. I guess it looks like a bow and then I just pull it apart, trim it up how I like it, and then glue it right in between the antlers. I did some of them like this. Some of them I added a little twine bow to. Some I just did a twine bow on. And here is Rudolph and his re eight reindeer. I think they turned out super cute. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. And thanks so much for watching, guys. It really means a lot and helps my channel. Remember to be still and know that He is God.